Hello. Um, today will be the last uh, video I make of the Oscars until you know the Oscars happen, since they are this coming uh, Sunday. Um, and again, I'm gonna focus again on Darkest Hour and um, Dunkirk. Um, I've already gone over what they've been nominated for and what they uh, maybe <clears throat> what the chances of them winning each category is and I've already explained for Dunkirk it seems as if uh, it will win some technical Oscars um, you know sound some of the sound because there's like the best sound editing and sound mixing um, it's split up into two categories not just one like at the BAFTAs and it could win editing because at the Critics Choice Award it won best editing um, I want to say at the equip like the places with the editing I believe it won best editing as well I couldn't I, I can check right quick um, Kirk. Yeah. Accolades. Maybe I should just go to Lee Smith's page, uh, profile since yes, A A C E Eddie. And that's what that's called. And yes, he won best editing feature film drama. So, yeah, um, you could win some sound Oscars and, um, uh, editing. Now, I've already stated how I would like to see Christopher Nolan win Best Director and the film itself win Best, uh, you know, Best Picture. Though, it seems as if, you know, three billboards could win um, Best Picture, and Guillermo del Toro wins Best Director. Uh, all the previous uh, award shows seems to indicate those will be the winners um, in those respective categories. And I've often acknowledged I'm biased. I want, I enjoy the work Nolan does. I'm a Christopher Nolan fan. Um, I want to see him receive what is supposed to be the, you know, highest honor in terms of film. Uh, uh, you know, the award show that's supposed to be the most prestigious and most sought after. Um, though I know he, he himself doesn't really seem to mind if he wins or not, or even if he was nominated. Um, he says it's an honor like if a film gets nominated, whether he himself gets nominated or not. It's nice that the Academy, you know, uh, thought any of his movies were worth being nominated in any category. And, um, it's like it's, people ever since The Dark Knight and onward with his films believe he should have been nominated for Best Director. And now he's finally 
nominated. And I and others want to see him win. Um, but you know, Del Toro seems to be the favorite with um, <clears throat> The Shape of Water. He's so praised and such that it seems as if No, no. You have to compete or campaign very hard. And there was a video. It was like a 28 minute video or so. Which was actually very good. It's essentially if you have the Blu ray or the two disc DVD, and you can watch the behind the scenes features of like, it's like this long documentary. If you play all of these little moments, like the like, there and to see the. the air, the sea, the land, and all that. Uh, you can watch all of that, and, uh, and I did, and it was really good. It was a very good uh, documentary and insight of what it took to make the film. And, uh, you know, just watching that makes me love and respect this film even more, as well as the event of what happened uh, back in 1940. And... Some say because it's essentially a British film, it won't win. Yes, it had an uh, American studio, Warner Brothers, fine, uh, distributing the film, and essentially giving the money to Nolan to make the film. Um, because uh, Warner Brothers trusts Nolan in what he does, uh, and with good reason. Um, he, uh, it's just, it's one of those things that people want, would like to see Nolan receive it, even after, like, looking at the movie, and looking at some of the behind the scenes, you see what he did, he was very involved, he was involved with the, heavily involved with the land aspects, the sea, and the air, he went out, even went into an airplane, it was like a Spitfire, or, uh, or, or not, not necessarily a Spitfire, but a plane that, you know, would give him quite an idea of how to film and photograph the aerial shots, and it's, it's, it is so well made that i just like to see him get it, um, as well as Best Picture, you know. But Del Toro seems to be the due to beat for director, and Three Billboards is the film it looks like to beat for Best Picture. Uh, you know. A woman's daughter is found Bodies found after she was raped and murdered, and the chief sheriff Woody Harrelson's character, I think, uh, see this here. Yeah, chief. Yeah, he's the Rory Harrelson's the chief, and he apparently didn't do anything. Or if he did do something, is like it wasn't enough to try and find Frances McDormand's daughter. Um, and yeah, it looks like those uh, those are the some of the movies and things you'd have to try and beat. Well, I would like to see Hans Zimmer win the score. Again, he won for Lion King, but hasn't gotten anything since. And then there's Darkest Hour. Gary Oldman looks like he will finally get an Academy Award. I've already illustrated that he should have gotten an Oscar. 
years ago. He should be, this is, should be like his fourth or fifth Oscar by now, honestly. Um, he's that talented. He should have a good amount of leading and supporting Oscars. I mean, he's such a chameleon. And he rightfully uh, got nominated for uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, but unfortunately, uh, he didn't win. I feel he should have, but, you know. Yeah. The Academy thought otherwise. Um, and Best Makeup, I feel, is also going to go to Darkest Hour for the makeup and hair of Winston Churchill and all the other actors and actresses. Kristen Scott Thomas. Just so many people. Well, I guess she, could have, she might have worn a wig. By the way, she... Uh, you know, everything in those two films for me were just so amazing and great, and they're good companion pieces to one another. Um, I would like D uh, Darkest Hour to win Best Picture if it doesn't go to Dunkirk. Again, they're both British films, essentially. Um, they take place during World War II, and while Dunkirk is more of a World War II film, you know, in the sense of you know, soldiers and you know, fight and all that, it, and the Academy likes World War II uh, films of that era. They like to honor it. You know, Schindler's List, um, Saving Private Ryan got a good amount of awards. No, Saving Private Ryan didn't win Best Picture when it should have, but you know, King's Speech took place, you could say, around similar time of uh, Dunkirk. Uh, and, um, uh, speech won best picture and director um, but yeah uh, darkest hour was just it was really good it's cinematography I felt was good uh, I saw a darkest hour again this past Sunday uh, and it, it's still great it's still good I enjoyed thoroughly, um, still. I'm hoping to later today watch Dunkirk on the big screen again, because it's playing the theater again. One time, one, you know, so. Hopefully I can do that. Um, whether I will or not, I, I, I'm not sure, but uh, I do own... Dunkirk, so I can just rewatch it uh, here. If I don't go to the cinema, but the theater experience I feel for both films are just are a must. Honestly, um, I know some people don't want to go into the theater anymore, but for some movies, they they're just worth it. Um, Photography is good in both films. The Rip, uh, Roger Deakins, I believe, is his name. He's nominated for cinematography. Uh, he's been nominated a lot, so we could go to him uh, for Blade Runner. And Blade Runner, you know, was good. It was good cinematography. If cinematography goes to Blade Runner, Darkest Hour, or Dunkirk. I think either one are deserving. Uh, obviously, since Dunkirk's my favorite film of last year, and I feel it's the best of last year, um, yes, I would like it to win. Since uh, Darkest Star is my second, I would also like it to win, but, you know, uh, Dickens, he's really good. He's, I've seen many of his, the films he's shot. You know, 
Shawshank Redemption, Fargo. You know, there's. Uh, I could just you know, go down a list of the films he's uh, shot. He's he has good cinematography. It's just fantastic. I I. I I don't know. It seems like uh, free billboards in uh, Shape of Water or films to beat for best picture and director. The Oscars can be unpredictable. Pick films and people you wouldn't expect. While at the same time, they can pick films you would expect. Uh, those two films for those... the top prize of director and picture, it looks like you could expect those to win. Um, but who knows? Um, we'll find out Sunday. I don't know if I'll watch the Oscars. Also, they get political. I don't really care about people's the celebrities talking politics. I'm like, you know, great, you have your own view of politics. I do too. You do too. I have occasionally talked politics on this channel. I try not to do that a whole lot, honestly. Uh, nobody really, I'm like, you know, honestly, nobody cares what I think about politics. It's not really a political channel, it's about, about films and stuff. And I made some short films that I've posted on YouTube. And I talk about films. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, I enjoy movies. So I've kept the political stuff very light. And very much to a minimum. I don't think I'm really gonna touch on it again, um, honestly. But you know, people just have to say something anymore for whatever reason. You know, people don't care about. Any actor or filmmaker thinks about politics, you know. Even if I agree with them, I still don't really want them talking. Cause I'm like, you're gonna be making another movie. It's gonna come out in a year or so, and um, you could alienate people. Honestly, you could alienate alienate people who could be so such big fans of yours. And then talking politics, it's like, you know, I don't want to censor the First Amendment here, obviously. I just wish, you know, uh, all the celebrities that are at the Oscars, everybody there for political and or social kind of messages, I wish some would just stop and think that People might not actually care what I have to say about this issue or that. But it doesn't seem like people. many people do. Um, I'm not saying none of them do. Uh, or or I guess all of them do. Or something like that. You know what I mean. You know. But, uh, I don't know. I'd like to see Gary Oldman win. Um, though I'd have to wait until the entire ceremonies are uh, essentially done at the end with the best leading acting categories. They occasionally even have like supporting uh, up front anymore. Like supporting actor for the past few years I heard was like the first thing. And it's like that used to be before the leading categories, lead actor, lead actress. Why well, supporting actor and supporting actress before now, I have no problem with it being before the leading categories, but why essentially at the very beginning and then spread it through? It's like they do that to try, I know, to try and entice, entice people to watch. So whatever specific category they really want to see a favorite of theirs get it, will stay and watch. Um, because every year... Ratings decline. Uh, they just decline, and uh, politics will do that. People just won't 
watch. Um, and perhaps that could be a factor as to why Dunkirk and Darkest Hour may not really win the top of wars. They don't really have political and or social messages. They're retelling history of what happened during a certain period of time. Not really trying to... It's, it's not a... Like they're trying to make any statement of what's going on today. People are saying that. I'm like, no, they're talk those films are talking about what happened in 1940 during this time. They're not talking about what's going on now. But people want to make it. I, that's what films are, the films are doing. And they're British. Uh, but again, I've already said... Uh, at least on Dunkirk's side, Warner Brothers was uh, a heavy backer. They were distributing because they've distributed every film essentially that no one has made since Insomnia. Pretty much. Uh, so, that could help give it an edge over Darkest Hour. I don't know. It seems like I, I don't want to lose hope, yet I don't want to get my hopes up too much, you know what I mean? For Dunkirk to win Best Picture and Director, or at the very least, Dunkirk winning Director and Darkest Hour winning Best Picture. But I feel hair and makeup and actor goes to Darkest Hour. Dunkirk I think we'll win, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, a technical award or two, you know, some stuff. I think it's going to get something. Uh, whether that's something at the Oscars will be big, a big major award that people will really, oh, wow, you yeah, know, yeah, best picture, director, or score, or this or that. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't necessarily look like that will happen, but you never know with the Oscars. It can be unpredictable. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really uh, have to say on this matter. So, hope you like this final part of the award show series um, for this year. I'm sure I'll talk about the Oscars next week. So, there you go. See you all next time. Bye.